the topic chosen for uh, discussion in this video is how the analysis of wheat is undertaken during the time of procurement basing on the lab analysis the wheat is procured by having or by noting the uniform specification the refractions mentioned in the uniform specification should be adhered while analysis that how it is being adapted how the sampling is taken and how the analysis actual analysis is done that we are going to see in the part 2 of the video how analysis is done of wheat in fsi in part 2 of the video first we will see the uh, consignment of bags usually if it is consign bag if it is supplied in usually it is not supplied in bags because the farmers will bring the wheat in the mandis and they will be supplied in heap the fc will supply the gannis and in that they will fill up the wheat in 50 kg bags so the consignment is in bulk form so what we are doing in bulk form usually in bulk the sampling is something different than what we are taking in uh, bags bags usually we use uh, perky or poker but in bulk we use the sampling points in bulk so the farmers will uh, supply the uh, wheat in heap form that will be um, heaped in mandis so the token will be given by the mandi authorities and uh, the uh, qc authorities will see the quality of the stocks then they will fix the uh, rate which is uh, be uh, confirm which will be confirmed to uh, minimum support price uh, the, the first is suppose if uh, uh, up to 15 tons suppose if the farmer is supplying the wheat up to 15 tons up to 15 metric tons then what they will do so we take the uh, sample in five points up to suppose uh, up to 15 metric tons so 15 metric tons means one metric ton will be uh, 20 bags approximately uh, 20 bags 15 to 20 300 bags it is 300 bags to the size of 300 bags and then it will be in uh, heap stage in heap we have to take in five places the sample may be taken uh, because it represents the whole population so at most care should be taken in uh, sample because the sample represents the whole mass so that uh, from the what we are taking from the five points is representing the 15 uh, metric tons so even it may increase not even five places even we may increase to seven eight nine ton like that uh, according to the uh, decision of the authorities that is qc authorities at the time of uh, taking sample it may be increased to uh, many places uh, the minimum the minimum is five points in five, uh, how we, the sample is taken from the five points the by hand uh, we, we have to close the fist and then we have to go to the depth and then we have to open the uh, fingers then we have to take the sample and close the um, fingers then we have to take the sample uh, like that uh, from five places we are taking the sample and you should be the sample taken should be 2.5 kgs sometimes even mechanical sampler also can be used if at all if it is available uh, or uh, in bulk means we can use even the perky type uh, the lengthy uh, perky type sampler is there that also can be used but here we are using the hand uh, for, from five places then if the party is if the farmer is supplying 15 to 15 to 30 metric tons the sampling places may be extended to eight places that is eight places so this is five and three so totally eight from eight places from eight places we have to take sample 
we need not it need not be restricted to eight places it may be restricted it may be extended to uh, even 16 um, 15 like that so it is called incremental samples incremental sample means we can increase the sa sample and then from that is 30 to 500 32 so more than 30 means 30 metric tons more than 30 metric tons it can be extended to the sample 5 and then plus 3 8 and then another 3 so totally in 11 places this is 11 places so the from 11 places from 11 places we have to take the sample it can be even 20 20 25 22 like that it can be extended that's called incremental sampling then what we at least we have to take minimum 2.5 kg if more than 2.5 kg also can be taken but the, the finally we have to reduce it to uh, 0.5 kg so it a minimum 2.5 kg that is called representative sample so the representative sample should be representative sample should be 2.5 so that is uh, Uh, that is reduced to 0.5 by putting the uh, by putting the wheat in uh, uh, the sample divider the sample divider will be having conical shape and uh, here it is it will be like that then it it is having two spouts here pan will be there so here it will be the slots will be there that will be that will be um, equally it will divide the samples in each and every slots the sample will go and then it will be go into the pan so one pan we can take another pan we can remove it in one pan that is if it is 5 kg 2.5 again it is 1.25 like that we have to reduce it to 0.5 kg then from 0.5 kg what we are doing we are spreading in a glass lab in a glass lab in table in table what we are doing we spread the sample 0.5 sample 0.5 kg of sample in a circular fashion in a circular fashion we have to spread the sample to the thickness of to the uh, diameter of uh, 33 cm or 1 ft the diameter should be 1 ft and the thickness should be uh, 0.5 to 1.5 cm uh, that should be the thickness should be there then what we have to do this sample the circular sample should be first we have to cone it the uh, that i have forgot the first coning coning is necessary the sample should be in the form of cone then it should be uh, spread in a circular fashion then it should be divided into four a b c d that is uh, the that, uh, that is quartering it has to be divided into four uh, divisions by a scale small scale we can divide it into four so the opposite sample we have to a and c we can take or b and d we can take the other thing we can reject it so a and c a and c is equal to 0.250 grams this is called lab test sample the 0.25 is called lab test sample then what we have to do this 0.25 sample we have to spread in a circular fashion the 0.25 has to be spread in a circular fashion and uh, from this we have to take nine place sampling in all four corners then in the center in between the two and in the center so totally from nine places we have to scoop the sample and uh, and, and we have to weigh that should be equal to 50 grams this is called gravimetry so 50 grams of sample we have to take it in an enamel plate and we have to separate or segregate the broken farimeter damage slightly damaged and other food grains in such a way we have to segregate it and find out the percentage we will see the how the percentage is calculated so the damage is black in color so we have, for example we have taken the 
black line like that poker the it is black in color the size of the the color of the grain is black that is damaged say 0.7 grams the weight is 0.7 grams for uh, um, that is 20 grams 0.7 uh, 50 grams for 50 grams it is 0.7 for 100 grams so it has to be that is 1.4 percent that is 1.4 percent so for 50 grams it is 0.7 damage and for 100 grams it will be 1.4 so the damage is 1.4 percent like that the slightly damage should be the attacker uh, and uh, the slightly damage is yeah, yeah it will be in the point here yeah, black tip is there that is slightly damaged the slightly damage is 0.5 slightly damaged 0.5 so for 50 grams it is 0.5 for 100 it is 1% that is slightly damaged so the slightly damaged is 1% broken like that broken is uh, that also we have to find out suppose if it is broken broken is 1% 1 by for 50 grams in 100 2 that is 2% is coming to 2% like that, uh, uh, we have to find out all the refractions. Damage is coming to, uh, that is, one per damage is coming to uh, 1%, or, uh, that is 1.4%. And uh, kernel bunt, kernel bunt is also, is taken as, uh, the way kernel bunt is caused by Neo S Indica, that uh, the ventral side, a groove will be there. In that, a black uh, color will be formed by Neo S Indica fungus. That should be taken as kernel bund. Um, that also to be taken as a damage. And then slightly damage. Brokens. We have to take them. We have to take brokens. And uh, the uh, fari matter. The glooms and other things. Would, uh, for fari matter. We should not go by this 50 grams. We should take half kg. And in that half kg. We have to take the fari matter. So the sand. Uh, dirt. And then the glooms, um, these things should be taken as foreign matter. It is always for 500 grams. So like that we have to ascertain the um, refractions and whether it suits to the uh, foreign matter, it suits to the uniform specification. Well, we already told about the uniform specification, the foreign matter should not exceed 0.75 and other food grains uh, should not exceed 2% and damage should not exceed 2, slightly damage 4% and then shrunken shivald 6%. So these are all the uh, refractions. So lesser than we can purchase, more than that we have to reject it. So this is with regard to the um, how actual analysis is done and basing an analysis is how the percentage of refraction is ascertained whether if it is within the limit of uniform specification we can go very well go for purchase otherwise we have to reject it so with this we conclude this video